Hi, it's Joy. Today I'm going to be watching Supergirl Season 3, Episode 19, The Fanatical. It has been a very long week, it feels like, since this the previous Supergirl episode aired. I think it's been such a traumatic week of television, but I'm ready for the next Supergirl. We're not quite, hopefully, to the traumatic end of the season yet, so let's go. I just need more time. Yes. Sorry, I got distracted then by Cara and Monona because other. She doesn't have much left. Because when I'm free... I'm gonna crack this planet in half. You'll hear every scream. The shield will stop you. They've already it once. And I will tell you. How many anti Kryptonian things does she have? But. You should have had my back. Yep. You should have. I'm sorry I told her. Or he should have at the very least. When Kara asked him, he should have just said, no, I won't do it. And. You know, Supergirl, I need you to get this to her. What is this? It's time to get this to Supergirl. She'll find the cult, and she'll stop them. I'm also friends with her. <laughs> I'm 100% honest with Lena, but maybe you could... I don't know. I wasn't expecting them. To work Sorry. Like Supergirl. Explain why you had James do what he did and see if she understands. I think that's good advice. I think the only way that Lena and Supergirl are going to make it through this is being honest. As honest as they can be. <laughs> Overkill. Underkill. Didn't work. At least there's enough of those policemen. They could have gone after the two that she said it's them. Hey, hey. Um, you guys go ahead. I'll catch up. I'm gonna. She can try this out. Bang rang. <laughs> She's gonna take his advice. Lena has to be a set. No closer it. to finding a cure for Sam than I. I would never enter into a friendship with anyone who's already breached that trust. Understood. You have been building kryptonite and laser proof walls and stuff without Where telling anyone. Surround ourselves with, with loved ones who can bring us back to life. So I. I am just trying to help you. You're not helping. I hate it here. Just take me. Dude, this was not a successful day trip. I let my mask down for one second, and look what happens. Well, you can't be all things to all people. All you can do is be true to yourself. Which self? <laughs> I'm supposed to stand for, for truth. But how am I supposed to be truthful? Really truthful. Well, if you tell Lena the truth, you'd be doing it to make yourself feel better, not her. So maybe in this case, it's uh, not telling her the truth is the noble thing. It's a sacrifice you're making to protect her. We could turn Rain back into Sam permanently. We can cure her. Yes, please. Kidnapped, and instead of paying the ransom, he like flips the tables. Is stop. Spoilers. I yeah. just, I'm gonna, they're just, I'm gonna stop. Thank That's, you. If they use this again, <laughs> love when I'm It's like that for every seven year old boy who looks like me, but it's not gonna be like that if I have something to do with it. You will affect change. You already are. Yeah. We do not have cork trees on Mars. Mars? Wait, you're from Mars? Of course. What is the purpose of football? Um, I can show you. Where did they go? Father? Ha! Ah, my little man, it is. You scored a goal! <laughs> I love the foosball. <laughs> <laughs> yes? <laughs> awesome! This is, uh, this is for Mike, right? Oh. <laughs> Uh, sorry, uh, I'm pretty sure this is my lip. I'm kind of in the middle of something, guy. Oh, whoa, wait, are you, are you guys kidnapping this woman? Just get out. That is, okay, that's a highly illegal situation, and I'm gonna have to insist that you, okay, yeah. I'm not scared of you. <laughs> I'm very scared of you. I love this plan. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Should we put some music on, or? 
This is not a good plan anymore, but it's fine. It's gonna be fine. He's not allergic to lead anymore. Don't worry. There's a reason we sent Monel with her. He's smart, tactical. Mm. He's a legionnaire. If anyone can find us a signal, it's him. Now we <laughs> will deal with you after the ceremony's done. Kara has such faith in him. My soul. Just one question. Do you by chance know where I can find the rock of Utica? <laughs> Nitrogen. <laughs> what is this? Yes. Killian Sunstone. Marnell found a frequency I can hear. Let's go. Okay. <sighs> Safety for <first. laughs> <laughs> Just too late. Can a human survive it? <laughs> it's so annoying. Oh gosh. And you'll have a lifetime to figure it out. What's wrong? I can't get it. What is it? I can't, I can't get it. I, uh, help me. I can't touch it. Please help. Oh, no. Help. 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 It won't budge. Olivia, this is gonna hurt. Oh my god. Let me see. Let me see. You're okay. You're okay. She saved her. They saved her. I think people like Tanya need to see heroes that look like me so they know what they're capable of. I think I'm asking if it's a decision you make so for yourself. time is right. It's a good thing. On my own terms? Yeah, exactly. I'm going to take that mask off. Mm-hmm. I'm proud of you. That's my... Ta-da! It looks so good. <laughs> I love it so much. Yeah? I'm really happy that you taught Marin how to play foosball. <laughs> Do you think Jean ever worries about what happened to his father will happen to him? I don't know. Are you worried that what happened to your mom might happen to you? Some of the smartest people on the planet love your mom. And they're working day and night to find a cure. And those very same people they love you. And I give you my word, Ruby. I will fight to protect you as long as I live. I could go with you. No, no, you have to stay with your father. I'll go. Yes. And the yes, Yukon Rock seems to have some kind of effect on Supergirl, but I can handle it fine. A couple of days? Then we better get a move on. Yep. Thank you for going with Supergirl and allowing me to stay with my father. Oh, yeah, of course. Although I sense there's more to your decision than just the mission to stop rain. Yeah, well, I spoke to Imra, and it turns out despite all of my attempts to bury my feelings, it was pretty transparent for her, so she told me to come back here and sort it out. And all I want to do is just tell Kara exactly how I feel. Because I don't want to keep secrets. Telling her might make you feel better, but... <laughs> I think it would be selfish. Yeah, I know. You grew older in the future, but you also grew wiser. <laughs> He's the same one L we always loved, right but wiser and older. He grew up a bit, which is what he needed Thanks. to do. But he could have done it with Carla. Yeah, let's uh <laughs> let's go get us a rock. Bang.
<laughs> I love them so much, you don't understand. Any scene they're in together is just electric. Oh, midnight, Dad. <laughs> I cannot wait for next week. That was such a good episode in so many ways. Um, okay, so I think the dynamic of Kara and Lena is obviously having a lot of issues right now, well Supergirl and Lena, um, because I can understand why Lena is upset with Supergirl, I can understand why Lena doesn't want to trust Supergirl anymore, but uh, it's hard because she's always, she's the, Lena is the way she is because she's had to deal with the repercussions of her family name, but surely she should be slightly understanding of it not being even a criticism of Lena to not trust the Luther name because of just the proof of Lex and Lillian and everything. So as hard as it is for her, I think, you know, Kara wanted to prove that Lena didn't have more kryptonite was kind of, the way she went about it was utterly wrong, but Lena does have more kryptonite, or she didn't have any more literal kryptonite, but she knew how to make it and she hadn't offered up that information, which shows even at that point she didn't trust Kara, she didn't trust Supergirl. So Lena wasn't trusting Supergirl before Supergirl did anything. So I think in that sense, I don't think what Kara did was that wrong. James, and again, like, yeah, being honest with your girlfriend, I support and I respect that, but I think what he should have done is when Kara asked him to do it and he didn't want to, he should have just said, no, he shouldn't have gone in, to done, done most of the bad stuff as in breaking into her lab, then not done the final bit he needed to do, then lied about it. If he'd just been honest to Cara from the beginning and said, no, look, that's a step too far, even for you, Cara might have thought, oh my god, yeah, that is, you're right. So it was all messy and I'm not a huge fan of that. Um, I think James coming out as Guardian one day would be a really, really good thing, but I, like he said, on his own terms, when he wants to, that would be something good for him. And I love, love, love how they're writing mon -El. He has grown so much. Um, look, okay, it happened in the future. I think it could have happened at Kara's side had he stuck around. But the mon we're seeing now, he's the same person he was. He's the same kind, good person that he always has been. But he's just that bit older, that bit wiser. He's kind of, he's had that time to grow as a person, look into the person Kara always knew he could. And it's really lovely to see. I Like I said, they're electric together. Any time they're on screen together, my heart like skips a beat. It's just, oh, they don't even have to be really romantic. I just love them together so much. I love them sending Monel on the mission. Um, a bit of Mike came back, Miss Mike. Um, it was just so well done. The fact, the trust they have in each other is just beautiful. Um, Ruby, I loved Ruby and then John and his father. That scene, those scenes were really heartbreaking because as much as there's a lot of alien stuff involved, it was so human, just people trying to care for the people they love who are hurting and not knowing how to do it and trying their best. And it was really lovely to see that little moment of success they had this episode, that they were able to get through to Ruby, that she's able to open up about what she's feeling a bit more, which means that, you know, she'll be better now. Not better, like, she's fine, but someone, she can open up to Alex about what she's going through. She can be, they can, Alex can be there for her and she can kind of start to deal with what she's going through rather than just drown on it. And John's father, I mean, any moment John has where he can get through to his father and see his father happy, I think is really important. I cannot wait for next week. Um, yeah, Cara and Manel going off on their mission. Just those two together, all episode working together. I mean, it's going to be a very interesting episode and I can't wait to watch it. The downside is rain is almost escaping, so we've got to figure out what's happening there. But yeah, that was a really, um, there were some really wonderful Monel moments, some really wonderful Monel and Cara moments. She took his advice, she tried. Lena is just not being receptive to it. I think there's anything else Cara could do at this point. Like I said, Lena already didn't want to trust Supergirl before Supergirl did anything. That's why she hadn't been honest to her about the kryptonite. So, I don't know. Um, I do agree with Monel. I think that at this point, Lena's better, happier. If Lena never found out Kara was Supergirl, she'd be happier because Lena will not cope with it. She will not deal with it. And unless Kara decides to just cut Lena out of her life, that will hurt Lena too. So I do think at some point Lena's going to find out that Kara is Supergirl because they like angst and they like drama, but I'm not sure that's something that Lena would recover from. I love that Kara tried and she took Monel's advice. And I love when Jean then used the same advice on Monel, but right now, telling Kara about his feelings would be selfish. I think there'll be a time for it. There'll be a time when she deserves to know how he feels in a way because it does affect her but the time isn't right now and we'll see what happens there but yes i can't wait for next week thank you for watching